We have beautiful water, beautiful bays, beautiful beaches, just one beautiful place to live. It's a result of thousands of years of natural processes. I've seen some big estuaries in my life, but this one takes the cake. The Fitzroy River Delta is a mighty system. Most people don't realise how spectacular it is. The estuary of the river is where a lot of natural selection takes place. We've got mangroves, we've got marine grasslands, we've got lowland forest, and it's necessary for the health of the river and the reef. When I'm on the water, I just feel I could turn my clock back three or four hundred years or three or four thousand years because there hasn't been that much change here yet, but we've got to be careful. The Fitzroy Delta is the lifeguard that protects the reef. You lose the delta, you lose the reef. The Fitzroy Delta is at the mouth of the Fitzroy River and it's the largest river system that feeds into the southern Great Barrier Reef. It's a vast and interconnected estuarine system. The complicated network of all of the vegetation and species that live in the area is critical to the overall health of the delta, the bay and the reef. Estuaries connect the fresh water from the river to the marine environment. They're incredible places for filtering out the water. The river brings down a whole lot of sediments and pollutants and the vegetation and all the animals that are in the estuaries actually manage to make that water the ultimate filtration system. The Great Barrier Reef is extremely fragile, and that's because the, the corals themselves are very sensitive to environmental fluctuations and changes. If those conditions go out of their range of tolerance, then bad things happen to coral reefs. If they were ever to, to look at coal facilities there, they, they would be required to dredge that area. In 2012, there were three massive port projects planned for this area they would have destroyed the shoreline and dredged and dumped in the Great Barrier Reef World Heritage Area. Although these projects have been abandoned, there's still nothing to legally stop it from happening again. When we start changing these sorts of things, we can fundamentally alter these things in ways that we never really anticipated. There are unique species in the Fitzroy Delta, like the snubfin dolphin, the flatback turtle, and the Capricorn yellow chat. Several times a year, we'll find whales in the bay. So it's really important that we maintain their habitat, or otherwise they will become more and more endangered. We've got this amazing group of migratory shorebirds that spend their summer here and then go to the northern hemisphere in the winter time. So we have this very important responsibility for these animals. The grandeur of the delta and the untouched nature of the delta is just amazing. Rivers, estuaries and marine environments and the fisheries are really intertwined. They depend on each other. It creates the nurseries for everything from the barramundi stocks all the way through to the great crabbing. Tourism is an exceptionally important part. It has so much to offer. The health of this whole region around the Keppel Islands depends on that Fitzroy Delta. It is what filters and protects the Great Barrier Reef. It's not developed like so many other estuaries, and that's why we really do need to protect it. We, as the trustees of this area, need to make sure that we value it and do everything we can to protect it. <laughs>